You know, the shirt is probably one of the quintessential Father's Day gifts. But what makes a good investment and a good gift idea is the Oxford shirt. You know, the Oxford is truly classic. It's Americana. Guys love it. You can wear it dressy. You can wear it sporty. But when it comes to a quality Oxford shirt, we like to talk about a pinpoint Oxford. And that's just a finer quality, a more sophisticated looking Oxford shirt. And for the most part, it comes in what we call a classic fit. Cotton is really hands down the preferred favorite. That's because it's a natural fiber, it breathes, and it's very comfortable. When it comes to a dress shirt, make sure you do know size. And size starts with the inches at the neck. And even though you, know, you think that a small, medium, and large will suffice, for a dress shirt, it does not. So go from 14 and a half to 18 inches and make sure that you're also checking the sleeve length as well because sleeve lengths can be very different. There's one tip for Father's Day this year. Don't keep buying the same thing for dad when it comes to his shirt and tie. Think slim and trim. As shirts are going in and being more shaped, ties are going in and getting a little narrower. So we're not doing a four inch tie, but maybe we're at a three inch tie. And when it comes to the shirt, there's nothing wrong with a classic silhouette, but maybe try getting him the tailored silhouette that's a little more shape. You might make dad look 10 years younger, and he might feel a little more confident because he's a little more fit in these shaped items. One tip would be to go to his closet and take a look at, at his assortment. Um, it's important to have a well-balanced mix of solids as well as patterns. So take a look. If he has all solids in there, it's time to have some fun and get your dad some patterns or some stripes. The rules for mixing and matching, uh, patterns especially, um, you're definitely going to want to have different weights. And what I mean by that is if you have a bold pattern shirt, you're going to want to go with a small, neat uh, pattern on the neckwear. So you want to make sure that they're almost opposites uh, when it comes to uh, the, the strength and, and the actual pattern um, size on either the shirt or the tie. So if your tie is a bold pattern tie, you want to go with a small pencil stripe or, or something that's really um, a softer uh, pattern on the shirt. The, the actual point to it is to make sure that you're having fun with it and that you're not doing bold on top of bold and too fine of a pattern with too fine of a pattern neckwear. Um, you want to give that balance, which is almost opposite balance. You want to be in the same palette, so it, it's great to have you know a, a blue undertone shirt um, with just a soft baby blue somewhere in that piece of neckwear. Um, you, you just, that's probably the easiest way to match it up. You just want to be in, um, have the colors be in the same palette um, and it will ensure that both go together. Mm -hmm.